Now, if you have received a visa, then you would acknowledge that your visa has an issuance date. It also has an expiration date. Now, the time between the date when your visa was issued and the expiration date would be the validity of your visa. Now, technically, what that means is that your visa is issued on a particular date. Now, you are not allowed to, you know, submit yourself to the port of entry of that country before that date. So you have to either travel on that day or maybe at a later date, but it cannot be before the issuance date. Now, once your visa is issued and then it is valid for um, a period of time, you would find that you are allowed to travel between the issuance date and the expiration date. Now, why is this an issue? Because yes, most visas would indicate how long you're permitted to stay in that country on each visit. Most visas you would usually have that um, provision. Some would tell you you are not allowed to stay more than 30 days. Others would give you as much as 180 days. Now, you would find that there are instances where people would maybe travel a few days before their visa expires because certainly technically what your visa does is that it, it doesn't it's not an automatic entry into that country it is what actually call an authorization for you to present yourself to the port of entry now it is the immigration officer at the port of entry that determines if to allow you enter or if to, if to deny entry now in most cases once you are allowed to enter then it means that you're allowed to stay for the period of time that that visa guarantees your stay. In most cases, you would find that immigration officers might limit your stay. Let's say, for example, you're going to the US and then you're allowed to stay for 180 days. The immigration officer can decide, okay, I'm going to limit this person's stay to three months. For whatever reason, they are allowed to do that. But let's say your visa expires on the 30th day of the month and then you arrive on the 28th day of the month and you want to you know present yourself you know to enter that country and then with the having in mind that one since your visa allows you to just so you know it's valid for the period that you submit as long as you submit yourself at point upon each entry you can stay for the period of time that it allows you to stay and so you arrive on the 28th and then you get stamped in and you hope that you will stay for six months. Now, within that six months, let's understand that your visa would have expired. But of course, in this case, you would want to rely on the time that you are, you know, you are allowed to stay, you know, the, 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 the minimum or the maximum number of days that you are allowed to stay on each visit. Now, in most cases, border control would let you in. Yes, it happens so many times. But I promise you, <laughs> from experience, and I've seen it happen, you know, a few times, you know, to people that I know, you know, that you would find it difficult to renew that visa if you stay beyond the expiration of your visa. Most times, once you enter, they would just, you know, the visa officer would, would, would indicate in writing or maybe stamp the date that you're expected to leave. But in most cases where that is not indicated, then of course you would have to rely on the, you know, the terms of that visa, which would be stated on the visa itself. Or in the case where the visa officer has limited your stay beyond that which you are allowed to stay, then of course you are expected to exit at that date. But imagine, you know, going to the airport, you know, and then you actually arriving at the airport either the day before it expires a few days before it expires a week before it expires and you plan to stay for three months in most cases they would let you in in a few cases you may be denied entry yes i have seen it happen before where someone presented themselves at the port of entry and the immigration officer made the person you know change their ticket to reflect that they were going to leave on the date the visa was going to expire. Now you see that immigration officers at the port of entry are authorized to grant entry or to deny entry. Now a few cases where people 
were able to get in and for whatever reason, you know, stayed beyond the validity of their visa, nine out of 10 of them found it difficult to renew that visa. I would always advise people to err on the side of caution. Now, personally, on for me, I always ensure I leave before my visa expires. Of course, of the difficulties in applying for visas, I always like to have a clean record. So I would recommend that unless maybe it's, an, it's a case of an emergency that is beyond your control, but as much as it's, it is within your control, always ensure that you exit the country before your visa expires you don't don't rely yes i know you know most you would say okay the border control the officer has the right you know has a, is, is authorized you know to is empowered to extend my stay and once i i have submitted myself you know before my visa expires i should be able to stay for the period that that visa allows me stay yes you will be able to stay but by the time you're going to renew your visa <laughs> you would find out that your visa may be denied. In most cases, I have seen it happen many times, which is what necessitated, you know, me, you know, recording this video. So err on the side of caution, do not make silly mistakes. Do not do anything that you think might jeopardize, you know, your interest or the, the opportunity you have to renew your visa. Always ensure that you exit before your visa expires, irrespective of, you know, what you think visa allows you to stay. Do not wait for your visa to expire and then you just submit yourself to the port of entry for them to stamp six months and then you're in the country when your visa has expired and then you go back and then you're going to renew, you would have difficulties, particularly if you are applying from Nigeria. I've seen it happen many times and I don't want it to happen to you and that's why I'm putting out this video so you would apply caution whenever you're considering you know making that kind of mistake so i hope this was useful do you have you had similar experiences have you been stamped in before your visa expired and then when you went for renewal it was very easy for you well i would like to hear your story have you also had experiences where you know you know now it's clear to you you think okay maybe that's the reason why you were denied a visa i would also like to hear from you do you think you know you have a different opinion you know, as, just be respectful in your comment, you know, leave your comment here and then let's um, talk about it in the comment section. So thank you very much. And I hope that you have having a good day. See you next time. Bye.